Hello and welcome to the second part of the Object Orientated Programming uh, course in PHP. Today we're going to look at class inheritance or a very basic tutorial in class inheritance. Um, in the last tutorial we did, uh, we, we focused on actually creating classes and objects in PHP and the differences between classes and objects as well. So do check out that video if you haven't done so already. I'll leave a link in the description as well as in the top right hand corner here. Uh, but uh, today we're going to focus on inheritance and um, <clears throat> and cla you know class inheritance and how one class can inherit the properties and the methods that we allow in another class. Now, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to have inheritance? Well, um, there could be objects that need to have access to other um, properties, other methods that the other objects may offer. Um, and they they may be closely related. So, for example, let's um, let's use an example of an employee, right? So, right now we have a person with a first name, last name, and joint and gender. We could also have a class of um, employee. So, for example, if we scroll down here, we could have you know Jane here that we've instantiated a new person class. She could be an employee somewhere, and so the employee um, class would have uh, properties that are. Um, that should be encapsulated for the employee class. So for example, they, she may have um, a job title and an employee number and so forth. But an employee is also a person. And therefore you could have the employee class extending the person class. And that will allow the employee class to have access to certain uh, properties and, and uh, methods that we are we we um, make available. So in this case, because everything's set to public, and I will get onto visibility scopes further down the line in these tutorials, but we can have we can access the first name, last name, and gender, as well as accessing these um, these methods here. So let's do that. Let's create an employee class that extends the person class, and I'll demonstrate how we can. Uh, have access to these these uh, these properties and these methods. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough. So, okay, let's uh, let's build the class. So right now, I'm going to just create the class as is, and then I'm going to demonstrate inheritance once the class has been built. So we're going to do a, a new class, and we're going to call this employee. And we are going to just give a single property, which is just public. And we, for now, we're just going to do first, uh, not first name, sorry, um, job title. Like so. And we're also going to create a, a constructor. So public function constructor construct like so. We're going to pass in the job title as the first argument. And we're going to do this job title is equal to job title like so and then we're just going to also have a public function get job and we're going to return whoops like that okay so we've just created our, our employee class we have a property of job title and a constructor, uh, which uh, you pass in job title as the first argument, and then that uh, gets set. So this job title is equal to job title here. And then we've also got a, a public function job title. Like I said, I'm gonna get into visibility scopes further down the line and, uh, and, and discuss what the difference is between these different scopes. So at the moment, they're all public, but uh, let's, uh, let's not worry about that too much at the moment. So let's scroll down here. Um, let's remove some of this stuff that we created in the last tutorial and let's just do employee is equal to a new instance. So we're going to instantiate, whoops, sorry, new employee. I'm uh, coding whilst I'm talking. So new employee, and we're passing in a job title and this is just going to be backend developer. And what we're also going to do is echo um, employee get job title and we're going to save that let's just double check that that is correct so we are actually echoing this out that's fine okay so now we should just see the back end developer being printed out let's save that so uh, php 
Excellent. Okay, so we have the back end developer being printed. That's fine. Okay, great. So at the moment, the employee has no uh, no concept or no no uh, um, association to the person. So in order to inherit the person, <coughs> in order to extend the person, we need to put in the keyword extends and then a space and then the class that we wish to extend. So person like so. Now, what have we just done? Well, we've we've extended the person or so, sorry, we extended the employee to the person. This main means that this is now the base class person and this is the subclass employee. Employee is now hanging off of person. So uh, now we should have the, the, the scope of accessing the methods that are declared as public in this case um, of, the, uh, of the class person. But we're gonna get um, a couple of issues because we haven't actually set the first name or the last name or the gender. Now notice that we have a constructor in here, a public function constructor. We're passing in the first name, the last name, and the gender. And in this constructor, we're only passing in the job title. Now, because this this uh, this class inherits the person class, we can now access the uh, the public constructor here. We can uh, the person constructor, and what we do is we use the parent keyword. So I'm going to just uh, put in the space under here. We can actually do parent like so colon colon and then construct and we can access we can now set the um the 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 variables in the person constructor within this constructor here and now obviously i need to, to actually create or pass these first name last names and genders in so let's just do that now so we can do first name last name and gender now we're setting gender to be um what are we setting gender as default f so gender is equal to f let's just keep that consistent so let's save that <coughs> excuse me so um what we can do is scroll down here and change that to be jane again uh, so jane is now an instance of employee we're just going to change that to be jane um, like so and we we're actually now uh, we need, need to give some more properties so we've got the back-end developer as the job title we also have the first name which is Jane we have the second name uh, which we're gonna call I don't know um, J I'm just gonna do Fisher for that for instance um, and then the um, the gender which we don't actually need because that gets set by default so let's just save that and click onto here so we have the job title the first name the last name and the gender and we're then calling the constructor passing in these three variables so let's save that and let's just ensure that this still works so this should just return this is just for my benefit just return the back end developer that's great now what's what what we've done here is we've instantiated the employee class we passed in the the job title as the first argument and then these two properties they actually get set on the par person class that this employee class inherits so i can now do echo let's just put in a new line Uh, echo and then Jane uh, get gender so let's save that um, okay and then run this let's just clear that down just give us some raw room okay so we now have the gender of female now or F so F gets set if that doesn't if it, by default so what we're doing is we're calling the constructor this uh, this employee constructor which calls the the, uh, the person constructor which is whoops um, let's just bring that back into whoop, focus there we go so it, it calls the person constructor there we go per, calls the person constructor passing in the first name and the last name and the gender gender hasn't been passed and therefore it's set to F and then we're calling the get gender, but we're calling the get gender from this employee class. The reason why we can do that is because we've extended the person class and therefore we have access 
to this method. Likewise, if I was to do public, uh, sorry, public public function get name, for instance. Well, actually, what we can do, sorry, forgive me, is we can just do uh, say hello, right? So we can actually access this say hello method from this employee class. So let's just do that. There we go. Hello, my name is Jane Fisher. Okay, so um, what we can't do, however, is we can't do this. We can't say, we can't instantiate a new person. So person and we can't let's just supply that we can't do person get job title if we were to save that and run this we will get an error and the error is is an undefined method person get job title because what we're doing here is we're instantiating the person class which is this class here which has no knowledge of the employee okay so it's it's a hierarchical, right? So we have to instantiate the employee class to be aware of the person variables, or we can we can instantiate the person uh, class, but we'll have no knowledge of the employee. Okay, so let's just bring that back to how it was. So let's just um, change that back to employee and save that, and then run this again. Let's clear that down and run that again. Okay, so that's a very, very basic um, tutorial on uh, class inheritance in PHP. But if you've got any questions, then please let, let me know. Put them in the comments section below. If you've uh, found this um, tutorial helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Press that like button. If you uh, think other people might find it helpful, then please do share it around. Subscribe to get the next tutorials, so the next couple of PHP tutorials, as well as um, there's a Friday web chat every time. Every time, every Friday, I do a, a web chat as well, just talking about web development in general. So do subscribe to check that out. Thanks again for watching and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.